what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel in this video we head to the Shenandoah mountains to get on this legendary train ride in which we will provide more details a little bit later but as you can see here we have to drive through the night because we had a late start in this journey which could have ended really badly and on that note let's get after it all right y'all so um I think this is really close to our <laughs> height limit. And uh, I don't know if we can fit under here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Maya drive while I stand on the back of the truck and uh, see if we're good. <sighs> That's crazy. Go ahead, go slow. Slower than that, keep going. You go. Slower, babe. Slow down. Hey, you gonna make me fly off of this thing? <laughs> go ahead. We're good. Go ahead. Go slower. You driving fast? Hey. This girl trying to kill me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, keep going. Go across the bridge. I think we're good, y'all. Yeah, we yeah we made it through. That was close. Y'all, this may be some of the darkest roads we've ever been on. <laughs> Tight road. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. Somebody was complaining like, ooh, a little was unkempt. It's horrible. I don't like this road. It's tight. I mean, it's an arrow over this. It's clean, yeah. it's smooth, it's smooth. It's not it's not like the worst road. It's not a whole bunch of like potholes or anything. Close to that tree. See that? <laughs> this is kind of this is kind of sketch right the tree that tree right here got really close yeah, okay that was close <laughs> Freezing my butt off. Oh my god. Winter's just getting started, huh? <laughs> you gotta miss the heater? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elena. Ah! Elena. <laughs> All right, well, I guess she doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> anyway, we made it, y'all. That was scary scary business i do not like traveling at night into like places off the beaten path like this because number one you can't see number two the roads are tiny number three like going back to the fact you can't see we have water around us and like no sides on the road so henry is taking these 
like tight turns and like there's water. I'm like, if we go off the road, we're going into a frozen lake. The stars out here look amazing. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I'm freezing my butt off. Elena and I. That's you came in here. Girl, but whatever. It is so cold. Are you okay? Tart. We finally unpacked. It's what, like an hour and a half later? And I fed my man, guys. Fed my man. You your I did. I gave you donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and I offered you some roasted red pepper and tomato seeds. I made you hot cocoa. Yeah, well, we are super exhausted, so we are going to close out the evening, but we have a lot of exciting things. Well, not a lot of exciting things. We have one exciting thing planned for tomorrow, which is actually the reason why we took this camping trip in the first place. We will bring you along with us. It's going to be very exciting. So I'm going to say good night. Henry's already hit the sack. Doors closed. He's tired. He put in work. Good night. Good morning. Let me give you guys a sneak peek of our accommodations. No, this this view is way better back here. Don't be bougie. But we should have a competition when we get home. But who can stay the cleanest the longest? Tell the people between what you us, just said. Between us three. Who can stay the cleanest? Since we're the messiest, yeah. We're kinda um messy. Disorganized? Yeah. And the winner gets hundred bucks. That's it? Hundred bucks? Oh, that's, that's a lot to me. Wait, no, don't put me on there. Sorry. You're not going to win. Jawan, yeah, you I ain't worried about you. Jawan is going to No, he ain't he ain't in this. He's going to win hands down. No, he's, he's not, not a, a part of it. He's not he's not a part of this competition. <laughs> Who's going to fund the 100 bucks? Not me. Yeah, I this makes I got 100 bucks right now. This makes no sense. This competition is dumb. Okay, uh, uh, all right, you're right cuz we're funding our own. <laughs> no, no, let's do it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Just wanted to show y'all the uh, site since it was so dark last night. I couldn't really show y'all, but um, this park is pretty minimal. It's like a small little campground in, uh, in the mountains, close to our destination that we're going to, the Virginia Scenic Train thing. I'm not sure the exact name, but um, I'll give it to y'all in a little bit. But anyway, I had a really hard time last night setting up. I had to um get creative here because this this stuff is really gravelly i mean this is really you know sandy and gravelly so it's like it just sinks in tiny pieces of gravel so the blocks just kept sinking every time every time i try to level it so yeah i had to put enough basically two um two additional pieces here the lego blocks to um get them the right height to level the rig so this was really uh, interesting and anyway this is one side I don't have any sewer drain uh, we didn't really set up last night but um we're not gonna set up since we're going we're about to go on a train ride which you'll see through the Shenandoah mountains we'll set up when we get back and uh, do a little cooking but anyway I'm gonna go for a walk around the campground and I'll show you guys around this is more like a full-timer spot out here, I believe. A lot of full-timer rigs. Look like they've been set up for a while. This guy's got a nice little awning set up here. Yeah, the only thing that's been pretty annoying is um, whoever, I guess one of the workers, drives this ATV that's really loud. And he woke us up around, probably around six o'clock in the morning, just driving around, doing, I guess, doing their daily task. But anyway, this train ride, it was really hard to get tickets for it. It's been around I guess before my time running these these uh running this track through the mountains in the fall. Somebody has a cool little bar set up over here. It's pretty cool. Maybe outdoor kitchen slash bar. But yeah, uh it's really classic. I don't know what the right word is, but uh 
it was hard to get tickets. Uh, I basically had to wait online and I was maybe a couple thousand in line to get these tickets and they sell out really quick and they only run this train through October and the first week of November. So this is actually the last ride of the year for this train. Should be pretty scenic. Pretty nice shot of the mountains here. Just to see our site, it is so unlevel. Like it's hard setting up in the mountains. For those of you who've never done it, it's tricky. You gotta be creative. But yeah, that's our site. So I know y'all could probably tell I'm the one who booked this. <laughs> this campground but there aren't very many options over here but anyway um this is, we're we're right on this lake here and or spring sulfur spring and maya said that after we got here and she did a little research she said they uh, there's some kind of shooting range around here and that not to walk this trail at night on sunday because they shoot across the way they got some kind of target set up. It's Saturday, so we shouldn't have an issue today. Here's a nice shot of the lake. Wow. Check that out. That was actually the road that we were driving last night. And that, I don't know if that's the turn right there that I almost hit that tree on that turn. Yeah, that's, that's it right there. That's the tree. It's a tricky turn, y'all. That is a treacherous road at night. Let me tell you. But this is pretty. We are up and at it, and wow, we can actually see today. I guess Henry may have showed you guys the lake, but we could not see any of this coming in last night, which is really quite terrifying. Um, <laughs> but here, I think these are springs, actually. Um, and apparently, this place. A long 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 time ago it used to be really popular um, as a resort I'm thinking it was like in the 1800s or something like that <laughs> there you, what are you laughing at 1800 yeah so there used to be a big hotel oh. um, along the Springs this here is factual. yeah along the Springs and people would come here from all over and um, visit this resort um, so over time I guess uh, one, uh, I think it was World War One happened. Put everybody to sleep, man. World War One happened. Look, let me talk about my history that I looked up on Google right before we came here. During World War One, um, things kind of um, fizzled out, and I think they tore down the hotel, or either it fell apart for some reason. I'm not sure what happened to be honest, but um, it ain't here no more. So anyway, that's the story. Very shortly after arriving to the event, we realized this might be a bigger deal than what we think it is. Like I said earlier, apparently this train is kinda legendary. Now I truly see why I kinda had a hard time getting these tickets in the first place. This Norfolk Southern Engine 611 is an iconic steam locomotive from the 1950s. Known for its speed, it was originally used for passenger travel. It's one of the last steam trains built in the US Retired in the 1950s, engine 611 became a museum piece in Virginia. In the 1980s and the 1990s, it was restored and brought back to run special excursions like this one. Engine 611 represents the past era of stylish and fast rail travel. Its preservation and continued use keeps the legacy of American steam locomotives alive for new generations.
train ride ended right before dusk, which was perfect and it gave us just enough light to get back through that crazy, sketchy road back to the campground. Since we were expecting another cold night, the girls had very little interest in hanging out outside the RV. But since it was our last night, I had to seal the deal and burn some wood and get that wood potpourri in the air. And on that note, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.